Alright, well, welcome back to Spy Fox Cheese Chits, everyone! I think we're on level 60 now. Or 61. What new world will we be visiting today? Didn't we already go into the Arctic? We already went into the Arctic! Okay, now you're just getting lazy. If you're gonna put in ice fall, yeah, this is the same world! Okay, not quite. Oh my gosh, ice physics are out of control in this world. How have none of these hit? Just get off the get off the road. Spy Fox coming through. I'm more important than you. Boo! If if you want to put in more levels, you can put in more levels, but at least make the worlds unique. Otherwise, you end up like Water Worries. And you definitely don't want to end up like Water Worries. <laughs> Spy Fox is ruthless when it comes to hunting down the cheese. Bip, bip, bip. Get out of here. Get out of here. We don't get nearly enough toilet plungers to throw at enemies on this level. <laughs> this is literally. I'm just constantly spinning out. How in the world is Spy Fox actually moving on this level? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense at all. This is ridiculous. I'm recognizing like all this music though. Crystal Chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that looked painful. Actually, that would be a, that would be a great sound alert. <laughs> Spy Fox saying, "Ooh, that looked painful." Because I need more sound alerts on my channel. <laughs> I guess I could get rid of some of the ones nobody ever redeems. Thank goodness I can actually destroy those, but and it's not just like you exploded. The game is very weird about what makes you just insta explode and what you can actually just break. It's like giant barrel that's bigger than your scooter. Ah, oh, you can just run through that. Tiny little cake that looks like a power-up. No, that it makes you explode. Strike! Did I just fire two bananas and a pie? I think I did. Oh, what the heck? Out of my way! I do not want an entourage following me when I'm on my missions. <laughs> Let's put blue on ice, yes. That seems like a spy fox thing to do. Slip slide and away. This reminds me of- oh no! Speaking of exploding cakes, those are the most dangerous fiend in the entire game. Even though they literally look like they should be power-ups that you pick up. Move it. I am so paranoid about the cakes. I like how we're getting the kids' fortress music here, though. Dr Spy Fox Dry Cereal had an up bopping soundtrack. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think Spy Fox and Dry Cereal had the same composer do the soundtrack that did the Skyrim soundtrack. Jeremy Soul. I know he did Papa Travels Through Time. What an exciting level. <laughs> well, uh, I guess this is uh, an easier world than the last few. Why is Humongous Entertainment so obsessed with food? I never wondered that, because I'm also obsessed with food. I don't know if you knew this, Metal Lord. <laughs> I talk about food a lot on my channel. It's rare for me to go through a Let's Play without mentioning a fast food joint at least once. Usually a lot more than that. Depending on how long the Let's Play is. The, what the heck?! The pies just phased through. Oh no! These machines have mastered the defensive mechanism against pies being splatted at them. <laughs> Ooh! 
crunch. That did not look very good. <laughs> oh no, not Gilbert's souvenir stand again. Or not, not souvenir stand, trinket emporium. There's a big difference between a souvenir and a trinket. I can, no matter how old I get, I cannot get behind pickles. I cannot. Just give me cucumbers! Like, I see the purpose of pickles. It preserves them, makes, makes the cucumbers last for longer. I get that. It was useful back in the days when we didn't have things like refrigerators. But we have refrigerators now. So why do we want pickles still? They don't taste as good as cucumbers. They don't taste very good at all. Why are they still a fan? Like, I've even tried them on sandwiches. Like, I like, I love me some Chick-fil-A. And you know, the, like, the generic Chick-fil-A sandwich, it's literally just, like, the bun, the chicken, and, like, two pickles. I cannot get behind the pickles on that sandwich. They do not taste good. And I know, I know, it is, it's still fast food, so they're not using the best pickles. I get it. I have also bought pickles from the store. I made, like, a German beef and pickle recipe, but I'm like, I, I, I like, I like German beef. No, it was too pickle. I can't get behind the pickle flavor. Which projectiles have the worst accuracy? That's what I get for looking at Twitch chat for half a second. <laughs> I'd say the pies? I have whiffed with the pies a lot, and by whiff I mean I have shot enemies with the pie, but the pie just doesn't register as having hit them, so... Yikes. That cake just made an explosion sound effect. Mmm, ice cream. I think... I could have frozen cookies after this, but that might defeat the entire purpose of doing the uh, squats and the sit-ups. No, they're siphoning out my gas. Get out of the. Get out of my way. Spy Fox is out of patience for these <laughs> idiots. Yeah, exactly. What if Deku was a spy corps agent? Like Deku Link? That would be interesting. It's no joke. <laughs> Take that, splat. Ouch. I think that guy just hit a pile of garbage and immediately blew up. This is one of the... This is a junior arcade game. I think they probably should have stopped at, like, 50 levels. Uh oh Like, this is a fun one, but I do think that 100 levels would be too much for this game. I don't know if there, it is going to be 100 levels, but I imagine it's not going to be fewer than 100 levels. Splat! Oh, that's why I don't get it. <laughs> and there we go! This is definitely is easier than the last world, though. Candyland! The game of pure skill. I want to know what this spy scooter is made of, seeing how it's pushing around snowmobiles. <laughs> the Candyman can. I always hated that song, because it's like... 
from like Willy Wonka. It's like, oh, the, like the candy man's like singing a song, giving out free candy to all these kids until like the one poor kid in town shows up. He's just like, oh, Charlie, you gonna pay for that? <laughs> like, Bro, you were just handing out free candy to everybody else. <laughs> I don't- I don't get why everybody hates on Grandpa Joe. I- I hate on the candy man. <laughs> Fun fact, there's apparently a subreddit devoted purely just to hating on Grandpa Joe from Willy Wonka. Because of course there is, because Reddit is a joke. And accessible at the same time. <laughs> this has been Artie's hot take for the day. Minty Minions. I I am not joking. I am perfectly honest about everything I said about Reddit. <laughs> and honestly, as far as Red subreddits go, that one's far from the worst. Uh oh, Mecha Snowman stopped me in my tracks. Like, I get a subreddit existing for hating on, like, Caillou. Because he deserves it. But Grandpa Joe? It's like... I mean, he's, he's flawed, but... I wouldn't say I hate him. <laughs> oh, ha! Mecha Snowman destroyed the snowmobile enemy. Ha <laughs> ha! I've, I've heard the reasons why people hate him. I think they're very much overblowing the issue and ignoring, you know, like, why the story writes it the way they do. Aha! Like, honestly, for me, the worst thing that Grandpa Joe did was convince... I almost said Harry. <laughs> I still have Harry Potter on my Convince Charlie to drink the fizzy lifting drinks, which almost got him disqualified. But it was it was Charlie's own integrity and honesty and good nature that that ultimately prevailed, not Grandpa Joe. And I think that's that's a good lesson. Candy Cane Lane, here we go. Man, this world has flown by. My problems with Reddit extend far beyond the Grandpa Joe's <laughs> hate subreddit. <laughs> far, far beyond that. <laughs> Honestly, that separate is just kind of funny. I'm just like, why does this exist? <laughs> One of the weird- oh, oh. <laughs> One of the weirdest subreddit. This- I'm not sure if this is- I'm not gonna say this is the weirdest subreddit, because weirdest is a very, very, very deep hole, but there is a subreddit. I- I don't think it's just our Alzheimer's, but it's something involving Alzheimer's, and literally it's just filled with people that every single day just post the exact same Garfield comic over and over again, just like, I found this comic, it's so funny, like, pretending they have Alzheimer's. It's... I'm not joking, you can look it up, it is real, it's so dumb, I don't know why people are part of that, but I guess it's not harming anybody. Uh, that would be a situational custom character idea, but there are worse choices for sure. Let's try to do two worlds today. Wait, they're literally just repeating the same worlds over and over again. So there are only five worlds, but you do them all twice. Foxy's Funhouse. Okay, this is turning very quickly into bullet... Okay! I never did like the sky levels. It's very hard to tell what will just annihilate you in one hit and what won't. Oh, is that a fatty bear head, by the way? It looks like a fatty bear head. Wow! The hitboxes on those are giant. We're not quite into the pajama Sam lost and found hitboxes, but... We're getting, we're, we're getting there. Okay, so those have spikes on them. Gotta watch out for that. It's okay, Spy Fox! You found another spy scooter lying out. 
so we should be able to fix it up without much of an issue. I don't trust anything in this. I feel like I'm gonna one-hit kill from anything I touch, except the fatty bear heads and balloons. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of this world, though, and I just started it. I did not sign on to play Balloonorama today. I love Balloonorama for the soundtrack, but it is a rather frustrating game to play. Very boring as well. Uh, yikes. I... How do you get through that? There's not enough room to get through that. Also, these levels are freaking massive already. It's funny that this is called Fun House, because I'm not having much fun. <laughs> We're flying, shouldn't we be able to fly it, like, up and down? Like, on the depth plane? So I can just fly over these obstacles? I feel like I should- Ooh! Oh. Oh, that didn't look very nice. Maybe my strategy of staying at the bottom of the screen is not a good one for this level you need to get through all the balloons in that one part. Okay, yeah, this part. I'm just... Yeah, I'm not gonna stay inside the balloons. I don't... Yeah, yeah, let's, let's just do it this way. I don't care if I hit the, the green cheese. Okay, phew! I might regret trying to play through two worlds today. Foxworks Park, and you just insta-fly into the stinky cheese. Oh my... Okay! Now the difficulty's picking up. I don't think Charlie would really excel at anything in backyard baseball. Oh my gosh, we're flying- at least we're not f WHAT?! Well, how was I supposed to know? <laughs> Just like, by the way, watch out for the Disney monorail. <laughs> Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse abejado de las puertas. Thanks, Disney monorail. I appreciate it. They knew you were going to die to that, so they're like, we feel bad about that. Here's a one-up. <laughs> I see those steel clouds, which are so dumb. Especially since we can make the custom characters on other players' teams as well. That, that really adds a whole new... I think that I did not hit that. All right. Sweet. <laughs> I can tell this one's gonna be a delight. Yeah! Okay. I also gotta stay down and watch out for the- yeah. Thanks for the one-up. We really could use some weapons, though. <laughs> That's what any good amusement park needs. Weapons. <laughs> I probably just need to stay away from anything made of wood. The roller coaster tracks really do seem to have... ...large hitboxes. That is one gigantic roller coaster, my goodness. 
Those monorails are running at much too fast of a speed and at much too great a frequency to be meeting safety standards. Balloonorama! Speak of the devil! I hope this I hope this game does not have 120 levels like Balloonorama. <laughs> Balloonorama 100% had way too many levels. Garly. Hi, Mr. Monorail. Ugh. Thank you, Hitbox, for being small. Why are there spikes on the roller coaster, by the way? Like, I've played some good, uh, some roller coaster tycoon, but I don't remember the. Sp uh. I literally didn't see any obstacle there. This is why, like, they need to do a bit- they need to make the- the stuff that can kill you stand out a bit more. That or make the stuff that doesn't do anything when you interact with it stand out less. You can do one or the other, but as fiends are, man is this obnoxious. Was it one of those Cracker Barrel... Oh, it was probably one of those Cracker Barrel cork boards. Well, at least we're getting lots of cheese and we have six... Yeah, yeah, there you... Oh my gosh, it's so hard to make out that, that Cracker Barrel cork board, but sure enough, there was one there. I always die at the freaking end, like the last obstacle. The fox with the golden pun. Oh, that's that's a good one. You'll never taste better than the man with the golden bun. Sure, I don't like the roller coaster tracks. Oh no, I'm so scared of roller coasters, if I even go near them, I spontaneously combust. It's a very serious affliction. Okay, I literally touched nothing there. <laughs> Sp Spy Fox is just like, uh-oh. I forgot to take my painkillers today. <laughs> and I just had my wisdom teeth out. Oh, am I running out of gas? Is that what's going on? That it... Mm. How wait, how in the world are you supposed to get the gas can in time? Oh, that's evil. You have to literally be at the top of this. That's evil. Wow. You literally have to be at the very top of the screen to get the ca can and escape the gondola ride. And I don't like that. Yikes. I mean, it's kind of cool we're flying over the World's Fair, but also... Oh! Again, I can't tell what's supposed to be solid and what's not. You just gotta push the enemies around into something and hope that they blow up. Are these... This is a giant sprawled out theme park! Oh, you've gotta be joking! What the heck? Oh no, I don't like this one bit. Don't like that either. <laughs> spy Fox, I've noticed you're going through a lot of spy scooters these days. Is there something going on? Well, yes, Quack. There's a deadly carnival in town. Oh yeah, I usually stay away from that one, Spy Fox. There are like 12 fatalities a year. 
And all of them are from people who ride spy scooters over it. <laughs> that seems weirdly specific. <laughs> Quack, I need another spy scooter. All right. Please allow 98 years for shipping spy fox. Oh, I guess you can do that as well, but... Fatality. This is the most brutal of the fatalities in Mortal Kombat, for sure. Running into a roller coaster track. Okay, we gotta watch out. Yikes. Let me guess. R very end? Oh, not quite. Pretty much, though. Wow. Carnival of Clouds. This looks like it sucks already. Okay, this is... Fred the Gauntlet of Roller Coaster. Wow. All right. I don't know if Carnival of Clouds is the right term or Carnival of Roller Coaster. But regardless, this is nasty. It's a good thing we already played Spy Fox 2, because this game would have turned me off of the World's Fair from the get-go. These freaking roller coaster tracks have such big hitboxes. Oh, yeah, oh! Jeez Louise! This is ridiculous. I am going to stay. I, I am not going to move until I absolutely have to. Okay, escape from the roller coaster track of death. Spy Fox just refuses to fly over it. He's just like, I hit it or I go around it. This thing can't go any higher. Not until Professor Quack installs a better <laughs> flight system in here. Well, maybe if you stop crashing the spy scooters every five seconds, Spy Fox, I would do that. Maybe I wouldn't be crashing the spy scooter every five seconds if you implemented it. That's circular reasoning, Spy Fox. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's just me pointing out the facts. <laughs> I... The hitbox of the roller coaster extends out so far. It is ridiculous. You have to be walking on eggshells if you're. I. No part of me touched any part of the roller coaster track. I also will point out the levels are too long now, but... How is Russian Blue getting through all of this in the first try? Oh, she's not Spy Fox! I'm selling her Spy Scoopers! Oh, that's... If you touch the balloons, they knock you into the extended roller coaster hitbox. And yet, still not nearly as bad as Bear Stormin'. Because Bear Stormin', you had three lives for the whole game. And the controls were worse in Bear Stormin'. A lot worse.
I am not doing that. Uh, no, nope. I'm not. I'm not going to get the cheese anymore. I do not care to grab cheese. I literally just went out of my way to grab the cheese again. I seriously am done this time. <laughs> we are just gonna stay on this side. We're gonna... There's roller coaster on that side as well. Please tell me how I hit the roller coaster there. I want to frame by frame that. In editing. I probably won't do it because I have too much other stuff to edit, but still, like, what the... what? This is, the, like, the world's biggest roller coaster or something? Or are they just building, like, 18 different wooden coasters all on this one part? Which, by the way, is a bad idea. Wooden roller coasters are terrible. Wooden supports are fine. Wooden track, not as much. Oh my, oh my god! Hope you didn't go up the left side. If you did, you're dead. I did not hit the roller coaster. I freaking hate the hitboxes on this level. Half the stream is going to be spent on level 75. The worst part is this level shouldn't even be that hard. It's literally just the giant hitboxes on the roller coaster. And then being like, hey, we noticed there are giant hitboxes on the roller coaster. Let's spam roller coasters and bullens that knock you into the roller coaster everywhere on the level. This is like the kind of sadist custom levels that I would make. You don't make already sadist custom levels as the official levels. Not even grabbing the one. I'm not grabbing the one up. I'm going. To, I'm going to take this nice and slow. Oh my gosh! We finally beat it. There were not even any enemies on that level, and it was still like the toughest level. UFO boy. Hey, we're back in Cairo, or wherever. Guess we finally left the World's Fair. Spy Fox is like, I am flying away from any roller coasters. <laughs> what? Shebane? What have we told you about this? I'm sorry, what hit me there? It was like the entire mountain just, like, teleported and blew me up. What was that? What was that? Oh, I hit the tree branch. Apparently that expands the hitbox a significant amount. <laughs> Out of my way, Spy Fox has had enough of your shenanigans. <laughs> I just want to finish the mission so I can eat donuts. <laughs> That's all Spy Fox ever wanted out of life. It's why I became a spy in the first place. For the pancakes and donuts. Well, Spy Fox, we know, has a confirmed love of pancakes. Ah, uh, now the levels are getting... Wow, talk about a difficulty spike on level 75. Hey, I would still take the tree branches over the roller coaster any day. I'm glad we get the main menu music again. That's cool. Wait, he broke the tree branch and he was fine! <laughs> well, that's because their, like, supersonic jets are maybe slightly more durable than the spy scooter. 
Okay, well, I don't know what I was expecting there. <laughs> Canyon to Shea. I've got bananas with your name on them. Now it's time for you to split in two. Yeah, he broke the tree branch, and it's like, oh, well, that's fine. We'll give you a mulligan on that one. Out of my way, I have spy business to attend to. Still, though, unless the levels get truly evil, I'm not turning on the junior helpers. I am not a junior, and I do not need help. <laughs> there we go. Okay, he, he hit the big tree branch and he died. And all was right with the world. Woohoo! I'm going to IHOP. Maybe Waffle House. David and Conquer. That was the Conquer game we never got. Shebane! Life could be dream. <laughs> if you know where the steel clouds are gonna be, you can just time place yourself in the right area and the enemies will just run into them. Wow, I have a large, large stock of plantains. <laughs> I have the buzzy games on my list to play. This requires Marty to record them with me, and she and I have different schedules, so... I think you can. I think it's safe to say you will be seen explore the airport of Buzzy sometime this year. Jungle will probably be next year. Okay, this is getting a little out of hand. Enough with the secret admirers already. <laughs> the Fox Files. Ooh. Now that sounds like a great television show that I want to watch. Oh my gosh! This is like my Maze Madness custom levels. Just spam enemies everywhere. They are literally... Am I bugging things out, or are enemies literally just constantly spawning but immediately dying? What the heck? Oh yeah, the Spy Fox soundtrack is cool. Did I trigger a glitch and there's literally just an infinite guy spawning, but they just keep... Okay, apparently not. Alright. Last level of the stream. Level 80. Brad's Rad Ride! If the guy who made this was not named Brad, then what a waste. Maybe it's Brad's pie recipe. Maybe that's... Oh my gosh! Mom, Spy Fox ran me off the road. Can you pick me up? Sorry, sweetie. I'm at the World's Fair. There was apparently a fox that crashed into the roller coaster 20 times. Oh, that's a weird coincidence. I like heard that guy's bones break. <laughs> okay, but hear me out. 
Spyvox cheese chase multiplayer. You're both trying to ram each other off the road. That would actually be that would be terrible. That would be such a bad multiplayer. <laughs> I've got pies with your names on them, but you're not going to be eating them. <laughs> well, I mean, you will be eating it, but not in the way you might be thinking. <laughs> there we go! Phew! Alright! Well, that was a tough set of levels in there, mainly level 75. But there we go! I think we only have 20 levels left, then. Crash less. I don't even know what that means. Is it just like auto-drive, or is it like you're just invincible? <laughs> Brad was one of the system programmers? Nice! Well, shoutouts to my man, Brad. So, yeah, thanks for joining in, everybody. This was Spy Fox in Cheese Chase. So we'll be continuing this next week with Backyard Baseball, and we'll be finishing up Clonod Side Stories this Saturday. So look forward to all that. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless, everyone.